Wes Royce for WCLU Local News, and I'm here today with Drew Settle, Drew Bewley Settle, that Bewley name that runs strong in Barron County Athletics. When you think about Barron County Athletics, and you think about how this community is represented all over the nation, you think about cheerleading. And that has a lot to do with you and a lot to do your, with your family. When did you start in cheer? So I started cheering when I was really little. I was the little girl on the sidelines here cheering while my mom was uh, coaching, which she's coached for 44 years. So I continued cheering through, through my high school years here at Barron. And then I went to the University of Kentucky and cheered for four years. I won three national championships there. And then I went on and I also competed on the first ever Team USA co-ed team. Right. And I won three world championships there. Wow, that's amazing. And not to, not to mention, what about Cheer Magazine? We all, yeah, we also started a magazine that called the Cheerleader Magazine, and that was a huge success for us um, for a long time, and we are, we're very proud of that. We're actually starting to bring it back. And, you know, I, we're talking with some of the athletes that you coach here at the school, and every one of them said the same thing. you got to start young, and you've got to give all, everything to the sport. It just makes you feel like you're – stepping towards something that's going to be successful because you feel like when you're that young you have to work hard so you can get to the level you have to be to cheer at Barron County. You have to practice every day. I asked Kenzie, I said, how often do you go to the gym every day? Like every day, probably six days out of the week. And that's how it works, to have a championship mentality. You all expect to win national championships every year, don't you? Yes, we do. It's different. Cause, I mean, I went from football to this. It's just different. It's, it's good though. She's a great coach. And, and I agree with them. I mean, my kids, all of these kids that are on our high school team right now, they pretty much have cheered for me since they were five to seven years old. Right. So they've been doing this for a long time and I feel like that's the success is because these kids have worked so long at this that it's, it's natural. It's, it's easy to them. I started tumbling classes whenever I was really little, but I started cheering. This is my eighth year. I think this is my 10th year, but I've been on the high school since seventh grade. I've been cheering since I was seven years old with Drew, um, and this will be my 10th year going on my 11th year. What do you think, as far as the development of young people, at the age of six, you're already aspiring to one day be a Barron County High School cheerleader? What, what does you think that teaches kids about the commitment to excellence and the commitment to practice? Well, I think you got to start them young. And like we said, you know, when you commit to something, you have to work really hard at it to be successful at it. So they start really young and we teach them, we teach them that we want to win. We want to win the competitions. And not only do we want to win, we want to see them grow up and be successful adults and, you know, work hard and, and be successful in the gym, gaining new skills and just having fun. Well, you just, you wonder, you know, I have a young son myself, and I wonder, when do we start taking this, this stuff seriously? And what I'm hearing from these girls is it's never too early to, if you enjoy something and if you see that you want to become something, put, it, put your all into it. That's yes. what I'm getting from these girls today. You just learn with experience. When I came, I learned from the upperclassmen there. They pushed me, and now I'm trying to do the same for the younger kids. So... Let's talk about what you just won. You won a national championship. That, you know, you've won several, but that's not an easy thing to say. It is a very hard thing to do. Talk about what, what went into leading up to the competition, going there, and what was that excitement like for the girls and for you? It was super exciting. Like you said, I mean, I've won national championships individually, but I've not won one coaching. So this was my first one coaching to win um, and this was also at the UCA competition which is the biggest and the best of the best competition in the country so for us this is a huge huge accomplishment um, but it's a it's a lot different being on this side of it versus you know I tell them that all the time I'm like I would much rather be out there doing it because mm -hmm. I'm in control I mean, could, yeah, probably could but I'm in control of it you know right. when you're out there you're in control of it and for me, you know, when, when that music starts, it's out of my hands. Like, it's an unreal feeling, really. Like, you know, at the beginning of the season, we never know, how, like, how the team's going to be and, like, where we're going to end up. And that's how we felt at the beginning of this year. But as we inched closer to Nationals, like, we got more and more excited. And that buildup of excitement really helped us to win. The best athletes in this sport come from schools that have programs like this one. 
Talk about some of the other schools that you see on a year-to-year uh, -year basis that seem to make it every year. Are there some that you from other well, parts? Well, in the state of Kentucky, you know, you're, one of your most successful ones is Greenup County. Okay. And I will say we have a lot of commonalities with them. Um, their coach, Candy Berry, who is fantastic. I love her. She has coached. She's coached about six more years than my mom, I think. Six or seven. She's the, the, lo the longest standing coach right now. So what does that show you? They have a coach that's been dedicated to the program, that has worked really hard and ingrained excellence in all of her kids through all the years. Um, so it's consistent and somebody that's worked really hard at it for a long time. And I think that's what builds a program. And the school supports it so much because of people like that that have been so dedicated to it. So when you do something like that, you win the national championship, how do you celebrate? Well, so we we were really, really excited. Honestly, we didn't really know when it happened. Like, I was so nervous because I always get really nervous at awards. And when they announced it, I literally just cried and fell on the floor and looked crazy. Um, but, you know, it's never happened. So we all we were really, and I was really excited to get to experience that with my mom, who's done it, you know, for so long. And she, she was so excited. I know she was. Yes. I know she was. Well, you know, I've grown up in this community my whole life, and I'm telling you, excellence and Barron County cheerleading are synonymous. Now, having said that, I'm about as Scotty as they get, all right? My grandfather, they named the football stadium after him. My dad is the Glasgow mayor. My Uncle Sam coached baseball forever yep. at Glasgow. I'm as Scotty as they come, but I want to be part of this excellence too and celebrate this excellence too. So let's put on the burgundy and gold, and I want to learn from the best. I want you to teach me a cheer. Okay. Can we do that? We can do that. All right, let's do it. I want to learn one of the traditional, all-time great Barron County cheers. Okay. What, you, what can you teach me today? Okay, so when we do at all the games and we try to get all the fans standing up and yelling it as loud as possible, okay. but you're the boy, so we're going to have you get the megaphone and all yell right. as loud as possible. Yep, grab it and hold it up and yell as loud as possible. And the girls use the pom-poms. Okay. And we're going to yell, we are... BC. We are BC. And I do that in the megaphone. We are you yell BC. Yep. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. Let's go. All right. I'll go on your lead. Okay. We, we are BC. We are BC. We are BC. I like it. Yeah. I could get used to this. Who that needs a microphone fun. when you have a megaphone? Yeah. I love this. Drew, thank you so much for having me out here today. Congratulations on thank your you. national championship. Thank you. And I, I bet you're going to win another one. Thank you. We hope so. We're looking forward to it. And it's so fun to get to have the burgundy and gold on today, to get to see the cheer room. There's no room for more trophies back there. You're going to need a bigger room. We're okay with that. <laughs> All right. All right. For WCLU Local News, I'm Wes Royce.